My name is Dan Abe, and I'm executive producer on the Master Chief Collection. So we're showing a campaign demo. So we're showing Delta Halo. Um, a bit of an evolution, in fact, uh, to what we showed at Gamescom, because we're showing the audio changes that we talked about. But uh, biggest and baddest, what we've got is uh, we've got a bunch of multiplayer stations set up and uh, you guys are getting to play Zanzibar for the first time. Okay, so we do not have a dynamic element on Zanzibar. Uh, what we have done uh, is keep that map pretty much intact the way it was, although you do have a gun goose now. Honestly, our motivation behind it was pretty juvenile. Uh, we just thought it would be really cool to slap a bunch of guns onto it and see how it played. It was really more of an experiment uh, than anything else. We really, really liked it, and then we unveiled this. Uh, we unveiled it, and the fans really, really liked it. So uh, it did somewhat surprise us how much people seemed to be enjoying the gun goose. Uh, Halo 1 Anniversary, obviously people are familiar with, so they understand the approach we're taking with Halo 2 Anniversary, which is to retouch all of the ass assets, and of course have that ability to swap graphics in real time um, back and forth. Although now with audio. Three and four of the changes we've done have been primarily technical in nature because we haven't gone in and hand-touched every asset like we did with Halo 2 Anniversary. That said, uh, those games now run 60 frames per second, 1080p. They look gorgeous. The differences that makes is actually pretty spectacular. Um, and then beyond that, we've gone and improved the lighting systems, made some changes to shaders, modeling systems, things like that. So the games look a lot better than they ever did before. And it's really been fascinating for us to see details, especially when we look at Halo 4, details that were in the game that just weren't coming through, like etchings on weapons, um, a little more details in the lighting. One of the examples of three that we see that wasn't coming across is you can actually see the recoil on the pistol when you fire. So all of these details that were actually in there and that would, like just weren't coming through because of technology at the time are now coming through. So we're actually pretty excited by the difference. For both three and four, we generally have both running side by side right next to each other. And I remember uh, the first time we had the 360 version, running next to the new Xbox One version. We just kind of had left it in a conference room uh, at the same spot to just kind of see like, hey, are people gonna be able to tell the difference? And immediately everyone just came in and immediately turned to the, the Xbox One version like, oh my God, that one looks so much more beautiful. Um, I just think it's a great testament to the work the team did on that uh, game, that there's just so much beauty in that game that we're now able to bring forward. Going back and doing Halo 2 has actually been a tremendous amount of fun for me because, you know, I always talk about my personal experience with the first Halo game. Uh, and that was really, as I say, the game that showed me that you could have a good first-person shooter on console. And two, I just think about uh, the multiplayer and how that just like kind of changed my life forever, right? And I look at, you know, I look at obviously Halo today, but games like Titanfall, Call of Duty, all of these games owe their multiplayer experiences to Halo 2. So I just have such a romanticized view of it that in, in my mind, it's perfect. And it's just, that's why I'm so excited to work on this because, you know, we get to take something that is so beloved, you know, by the team and myself personally and find some new ways to present it. <laughs>